Why, hello. You know, there's a mystery I need your help to solve. The mystery of the tricky trillium. You see, my seeds are so small, they just blow away. How does that trillium get her seeds to grow so far away in their own patch of sun when she just drops them on the ground? Look at it. Not enough sun or water of its own. Cold? Alone? Vulnerable to all sorts of hungry critters. I'm so hungry. Relax. There's some tasty trillium seeds up ahead. They're quite heavy, though. I'm not sure if you can handle it. Hey, man. I've been working out, and I can lift 50 times my own weight. That's almost as much as you can. <laughs> Look at all that scrumptious Eliasome! Elia... what? Eliasome! That feast of fat fit for the queen! Don't worry, little seed. I don't think you're fat. I'm sure those ants have enjoyed their feast, but whatever became of that poor little trillium seed? Oh, there she is. Phew! I thought they'd eat me, but they only wanted my Eliasome! When they were done, they just threw me in their compost pile. It's nice and warm and... Who would have thought the ants only wanted to eat the Eliasome? Afterwards, they simply threw the seed away in a warm, dark place. It turns out to be the perfect place for a trillium seed to grow... and grow and grow! All because those tricky trilliums grow seeds with a tasty little treat attached to them. The ants carry the seeds far from their parents where they can have their very own space with lots of sun and rainfall all to themselves. Mystery solved. We also like the Eliasome on seeds like wild ginger, wild bleeding heart, and wood poppy. You see, it takes all kinds of plants and animals working together to make a healthy forest. Thank you.